this is one of my uh, my frames. I moved this frame, uh, which is all full of, of called capped brood. So those those used to be eggs that the queen laid in each of the cells, and then the uh, the workers feed them, you know, for about a week, ten days, and then then the uh, those the eggs turn into larvae. The larva, each larva, um, then cocoons and it gets covered over with wax by uh, the workers. Now the thing that I'm, I'm showing this video for is that um, uh, I put this frame of eggs into a, uh, a small hive with no queen and you can see uh, that the workers have converted a number of eggs to queens by by power feeding them royal jelly which is it's like a protein shake for an extended period of time. So there's one there, there's one there, three, four, and five, so I've got five queens uh, that have been built up on this frame. So what I'm going to try and do is uh, I want to just inspect them carefully to see um, if there are any that are close to hatching, and if so, I'm going to um, just carefully watch that because I don't want the, because the first queen to come out, and I think it might be that one, she will come out and and use her uh, her uh, stinger to to basically kill her sister's little fratricide there, um, which I don't want to do. So I'm going to try and do is 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 cut out each of those five and put them into their own little box and then with some bees and I'll have five hives from this one. I don't know if I can zoom in. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, so the queen cells, they look like peanuts. You can see they, they're called sculpting, that when the, the queen cell, the queen gets big and she has to kind of come and hang out of the front and that's why they're so large. Let's see if I can get this from the side. Yeah. So those, um, the, 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 the beekeeping term is sculpting, so um, you get this crenellated surface like a, like a peanut. Um, it's very, very pronounced, very easy to see the, there's a good one, very easy to see the sculpting on that one. So these queens are probably ready to come out in about a day or two. Um, I know exactly when these eggs were laid, um, and, and queens come out, all bees come out right on on the money. So queens come out exactly 16 days after the egg was laid and I expect these were probably um, 14 to 16 days uh, old. So I'm going to keep an eye on them and then uh, hopefully I'll have five, five hives. These bees are uh, busy trimming down uh, the base of a queen cell. So that's the queen cell obviously. And you can see where they've kind of chewed a little bit around the edges. Um, and they're, the queen is inside, she wants to come out, so they're helping her out. That's one. The one that is closer to coming out is that one. You can see where they've really been chewing away at the base of that. That queen's going to come out momentarily. There was a queen that came out this morning that was over... Sorry. Uh, right there. So that was a, the first queen that came out. I didn't know if that queen then went up and tried to stick her stinger in there and kill that queen and that queen and the two other queens that are on this this frame but you know so far so good it looks like these uh, queens are still alive you can really really see I'm gonna blow them away yeah you can really see where they've uh, they've been uh, thinning out the edge of that uh, that that cell so that queen should come out any any hour now, I think. So I'm going to keep my eyes open. So that queen, as you can see, that queen emerged. And there's another one right there that's about to emerge. That's a worker working hard at getting all the, uh, the wax out. Now I saw the queen walking around somewhere, so I don't know if that queen has been into sting that one yet but I'm, what I'm gonna do is pull uh, the queen from here I'll find her somewhere she'll probably walk back and try to get that queen um, and, uh, and and pop her into a different hive there are the workers really working hard to open up that uh, cell so that queen is imminently uh, about to come out there's the new queen um, Right in the middle of the screen. Right. She's covered up now. I 
I'm not sure if that's the uh, that hole was made by the bees or by the queen with her stinger, but we'll see soon enough. That's right inside. I open up that hole a little bit. Hopefully that was good. So I see movement of legs. So I'm hopeful that there's a living queen in there. I don't, I don't know if this queen is alive or dead, but there she is coming out. They're either pulling her out or she's walking out. If, she, if, if, if that bee falls, it's a dead queen. If she crawls out, obviously it's a living queen. It doesn't look like there's too much action though. That looks like a dead queen, darn. Well, actually that queen's got, oh, it's moving. Hey, maybe that's alive. It's either alive or on its last legs. Not looking good. Ah, that queen wasn't ready to go. She's half baked. So it looks like the older queen got in there and uh, killed her. And those bees are just dragging that queen out now. You can see she's still white. She's got days of uh, development yet. Hmm. And that worker is just dragging that queen along. I'm out of my lawn. All right, well, there's two more in there. So it looks to me like those could still have a few days of development. So I'll let those um, sit and uh, that's it.